All right, welcome back, folks. So part 20, let's build our first analytics rule. Uh, so we are right here in the Must Learn KQL series. Again, head over to Rod Trent's uh, blog, aka.ms slash mustlearnkql for um, more in-depth analysis than you'll get here. So I'm just using his example. Now, this example is not going to uh, create any data because I don't have any data that matches this criteria in my tenant. But you get the idea that we really just want to are concerned with how we create an analytic rules. So think of analytic rules as uh, automating what you would do in the interface here. So if I wanted to check this specific KQL query on a regular basis, say every day or two days or whatever, I would normally have to log in paste the code in there, hit run, look at the results. Analytic rules allow you to automate that process and addition and some additional processes around uh, analytics. So if I hit the alert rule drop down men menu, create Sentinel alert, and it's going to give you a bunch of more options here. So this is a cloud usage rule. We can map it to any number of MITRE techniques. So uh, what would this be? Maybe discovery, cloud service discovery. Set the severity to whatever uh, severity you want. Now we can create some logic here. So this is the KQL. We can do some entity mapping, provide some uh, custom details via key value pairs, what you want the alert to say, basically custom information you want the alert. How often do I want to run this analytic? So do I want to run it every hour or every 24 hours or every four hours, you know, whatever it is, you can change that here. Sometimes I'm only interested if uh, a query comes back with positive results, say a hundred times in an hour. Uh, I can set that is greater than 100 here. So I'm not looking at what would be considered normal everyday activity, assuming less than 100 is normal everyday activity. I only want to see the anomalies. Uh, choose whether you want to group these into a single alert or a trigger and alert for each event. Uh, trigger and alert for each event will typically be noisy. And let's see, incident settings, alert grouping, whether you want to uh, configure that or not, you can do that here. Automated response is really the uh, the real goodness of Sentinel. So if when every one of these alerts is created, I wanted to assign this specific alert type to somebody, I can do have Sentinel do that for me. Uh, so I can call this assign alert. You would obviously want to make this more descriptive if it was real life. So when the incident is created, I want to assign the owner and then it's going to go through your um, AED. So to me, you can set this um, rule to expire after a certain period of time. Uh, hit apply and review. This will tell you basically everything. So you make sure all the logic is um, good to go. And now you've created an alert rule or an analytic rule. So that's the basics of analytics. Again, head over to aka.ms slash mustlearnkql. Take a look at Rod's uh, data. Now there is also somewhere in here. I don't know what the link is. This is it. So for advanced KQL topics, aka.ms slash addicted to KQL. Again, all, uh, Rod Trent is the author of all that stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, so take a look at that. Thanks for following along on this um, video series. I know it's taken a while to get done, but if you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments or hit me on one of the socials. Again, thanks for uh, following along.